Over a thousand guests from 60 countries gathered for a week-long series of conferences and exhibitions in Tashkent. The World Society for the Study, Preservation and Popularization of the Cultural Legacy of Uzbekistan co-hosted the event. As the country opens up to the world, a community of scientists from various countries has formed, showing a keen interest in exploring Uzbekistan's cultural heritage. The findings from their studies are presented annually during the Cultural Heritage Week. Uzbekistan's history as a crossroads along the Great Silk Road produced a vast collection of artifacts. Treasures of applied arts, traditional music and attire, handwritten books and monumental architecture. Today, this heritage inspires modern Uzbek artists, ranging from avant-garde paintings to cinematography. Cultural heritage serves as Uzbekistan's distinct brand on the international stage. Our heritage is extensive and diverse, tracing its roots back to ancient times, having encompassed various historical periods, including the Achaemenid and ancient eras, the early Middle Ages, the Islamic period and the 20th century, which witnessed a fusion of Eastern and Western influences. The country hopes that the growing recognition of its heritage will lead to an influx of tourists. Last year, more than 5 million visitors visited Uzbekistan. Now it's investing in new attractions and infrastructure, another major theme of the Tashkent conferences. This will impact and this will create a lot of tourist attraction to see. I am confident that if Uzbekistan continue like this on the tourism, I'm 100% sure 20 million tourists is not a dream, it can be the reality. Uzbekistan's population has increased by a third over the past 14 years, reaching 36 million people. With more children in the country, modernising the educational system has become crucial. The conference panels highlighted the need for new schools and educational programmes that meet international standards. We have this demographic opportunity that you can seize only by investing in human capital. And when we talk about human capital, it is about quality of education. Mostly it is infrastructure related and the issues around teachers training and learning outcomes. So these are the major pillars. By adopting this new renaissance in culture and education, technological innovation, sustainable economic development, Uzbekistan is ready to share experiences to achieve these goals.